Microsoft has just released the Windows 11 KB5065426 September 2025 update. This is the part of Windows 11 version 24 H2 update cycle. In this video, I will focus only on the fixes, what was broken before, what Microsoft fixed and will also talk about ongoing SSD issues that still haven't been resolved. Before proceeding, please make sure you have like and subscribe ITPK and let's get started. So the first big fix for non-admin users who are unexpectedly getting user account control or USG prompts when running an MSI installers. This issue affects apps like Office Professional Plus 2010 and Autodesk AutoCAD. With KB5065426, the scope of USC prompts is reduced and admins can even allow list apps to bypass them. Another fix addresses an issue where some IIS modules disappear from IIS Manager, preventing users from configuring web servers properly. This is now resolved with KB5065426. This update also fixes an issue that caused certain apps to stop responding when using a specific input method. This means typing in some apps should now be much better and stable. For IT admin, the latest updates enables auditing SMB clients' compatibility for SMB server signing and IPA. This helps organizations assess environments for device or the software incompatibility before deploying stricter security hardening. And a big one for streamers. The latest Windows update fixes an issue where audio stuttered in OBS Studio when using NDI display capture. This bug started after KB5063878, but now Microsoft has resolved it. Now what about the SSD major issue? Some users reported SSD corruption or failure after a recent Windows 11 24H2 August updates, but Microsoft has officially denied the responsibility, saying their testing shows no link between the update and SSD failures. However, SSG maker Fission points out that early firmware versions being the cause. So while KB5065426 fixes many bugs, but the SSD issues remains unresolved. So those are the key fixes in KB5065426. From USC prompts, IIS module and input crashes to SMB server auditing and OBS NDI audio bug. If you haven't seen these fixes yet, remember updates like the Windows 11 version 24H2 cumulative updates roll out gradually. The SSD issue is still unresolved, but Microsoft insists it isn't their fault. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more coverage on Windows 11 updates and upcoming 25H2 releases. See you in the next one.